Right, I just did that first video to let you know we're here. Here we go, telling people what's coming upon this world, the judgment of God. God bless you, Bridlington. We have come here to tell you that we are living in the final moments of the end of this age. The age of the dispensation of God's grace is coming to an end. And the Lord Jesus Christ is coming for all that have believed on him, all who are born again, all who have believed the death, burial, resurrection of Jesus for all our sins and called upon him, all are about to leave this world any moment. The Bible says that we don't know the hour or the day, but we can clearly see by what's going on around the world that we are indeed in the final seconds, minutes, hours, days, whatever it is, it's short of the end of this age. Jesus Christ is coming. Are you ready? If you're not, you'll be left behind when the Lord Jesus himself shall descend from heaven with shouts with the voice of the archangel and with the trumpet of God and the dead in Christ shall rise first and then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air in what's commonly referred to as the rapture and so shall we ever be with the Lord then according to God, through the prophet Isaiah, this world shall be turned upside down. Immediately after Jesus takes all believers up into heaven, the judgments of God shall be unleashed and the wrath of God unleashed upon this world which has turned its back on the living God, which hates the Lord God. When God is love, God, the Bible says that God wants all to be saved. The Bible says that all can be saved, no matter who you are and no matter what you have done, you can be saved. It's nothing you earn. You don't earn salvation by being good. You earn salvation by believing on the one who was perfect, even the Lord Jesus. You believe. You are saved when you believe that Jesus died on the cross to pay the penalty in full for our lifetime of sin and he was buried and he was resurrected on the third day according to the scriptures that is the blessed gospel and if you shall confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and say come into my life Lord Jesus and you believe that he died on the cross for you that he rose again from the dead boom you'll be saved with everlasting life God will seal you with Holy Spirit of promise, which means you'll never lose your salvation. You'll have a one-way ticket to heaven, and you will escape the damnation of hell. Hell is a place where people go who reject the love of the truth. Jesus Christ said, I am the way, the truth, the truth, and the life. So if you want to enter into heaven, you must get saved. You must be born again, which happens the moment you truly believe the gospel. For all have sinned and all fall short of the glory of God. And the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God, which according to his word he wants to give everyone, is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Because there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the only way, the truth, and the life. And if you reject the free gift of God, which is everlasting life through Jesus Christ, you will land in hell. Jesus Christ talks quite a lot about hell. He talks about hell. He said it's a place of outer darkness where there is weeping and wailing, where there is grinding of teeth, where the worm never dies and the fire never goes out, and all who reject the love of the truth shall find themselves spending eternity there. And many, many people, don't be one of the many, many people who only find out how real hell is when you land there. Get on board the Ark of Salvation. Remember the ark in Noah's day? We'll get on board the ark of salvation today by doing one thing only. 
one thing only that's required for you to be saved and heaven bound and sealed with Holy Spirit and that is believe believe the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ and you will be saved because if any man says that he has not sinned he's calling God a liar but if you humble yourself and say of course I have sinned we have all sinned just like the Bible says it, me included, we have all sinned. Be humble enough to recognize that yes, of course I have sinned. We've all lied, we've all committed fornication, we've all coveted, we've all done things worthy of death according to the word of God. So you must get saved if you're not, because we've all broken God's commandments. It, it is written. And accept you repent, which means change your mind and believe the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ, then you will perish, which means you will certainly land in hell if you reject the free gift of God, which is everlasting life through Jesus Christ our Lord. For everybody that believes, no matter what you have done, Jesus Christ has promised that he will never turn anyone away who comes to him. He's only asking that one thing that you believe, that yes, Jesus was indeed crucified on that cross for all our sin. He took our place on that cross to shed his blood for the forgiveness of all our sin our lifetime of sin and he was buried and he rose again from the dead on the third day according to the scriptures let's carry on for a bit longer there's a drunkard opposite me you can just see him just see him i don't know where he is but somewhere around there and he's spitting ven venom at me I've just prayed that he would go away and he's going away hallelujah uh, here we go God bless you we haven't come here with a condemning message we have come here to tell you that God loves you we've come here to tell you that God loves you so much that he's given you a choice you have free will you can either choose to accept the free gift of God, which is everlasting life through Jesus Christ, or you can choose to reject that offer. I pray that you do not reject the one and only who can write your name in the book of life and grant you everlasting life. We're not talking about being religious or going to church every Sunday. That doesn't save you. The only thing that saves you is when you believe the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. How? that Jesus took the penalty in full on the cross for our lifetime of sin and he was buried and he rose again from the dead on the third day according to the scriptures and if you shall confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus confess Jesus as Lord don't be afraid or ashamed to call upon Jesus and believe that he died and rose again for you you will be saved But Jesus Christ, he made it very clear. He said, except you repent and except you become born again, you will never see the kingdom of God. You'll never see heaven. Instead, you'll see hell. God doesn't want that. That's why we are here. Because God loves all that he's made. He wants none to perish. That's what his word says. The Bible says that God wants none to perish. The Bible says that all can be saved. The Bible says that all God wants all to be saved, but it's down to you in your heart whether or not, by faith, you are going to receive the free gift of God, which is everlasting life through Jesus Christ. That guy's come behind me. He's uh, oops, over there. Um, you can see him with a cowboy hat on, but it's just a distraction of the enemy that's sent. I don't want to come on. Oh, leave the camera on him anyway. Uh, let's carry on. Let's have on. No, I'll upload this one. <laughs> I'll upload this one and do another one. God bless you guys. I love you. Hope Jesus comes soon. <laughs>